Hey everybody, it's Peter from the Kia Hyundai channel. I just finished the video that you're about to watch and I'm now redoing the opening title. And that's because this one was super interesting to me. The real gist of this video is, and again, I didn't know this going in, what makes the most difference? Is it tires or technology that keeps you safe in the winter? So that's what we're about to discover in this video together. Um, I filmed it with a bit of a different angle. I kind of said, you know, let's show me the winter tires. Let's show you the kind of the way this feels. Uh, but stay with me in this video until the end because you're going to see the difference of just tires or just technology. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. We'll jump right into the video right now. Video. What I'm about to do is, you may be seeing behind me, we have some snow in the parking lot here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Santa Cruz out of the video bay. We're going to do a one take video of what these tires are like. And we're going to compare the snow mode with some of the other modes. Um, and we'll talk about what, what we find in the video. So let's go do that right now. All right. First of all, let's talk about what Ontario Road Salt does. I drove this vehicle in today and check out those look worse on camera than they are. But there's already a little tiny bit of rust setting in just from the water sitting on those tires. So these are fast wheels ev03 that's the type of wheel if you're looking to buy them you can buy them from your kia or hyundai dealer here in canada the tires 245 60 r18 they are continental viking contact seven tires uh, i quite like them i've driven them in more snow than what you're going to see today so let's just jump in right now so this is one thing i really like about this the 360 camera just makes it so easy to back up and drive in this car so put it in reverse there i'm gonna drive not looking through the camera actually it's too late i am looking through the camera all right, so we're gonna see, we can see everything here. Then when we go forward, put it in drive, you also see in front of you, which is just super cool. I really love that feature on this car. You can see exactly where the car is gonna swing. It looks like I'm just gonna hit that Telluride, but I'm not, it's gonna be fine. All right, coming in straight out of here. Okay, so we're backing up here. The 360 camera is really nice to see. You can see we're on snow. Uh, just for filming, it kind of makes it handy. We can go a long ways back, but we'll just keep it there. All right, looking up forward here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the vehicle into snow mode. Now you don't have to put it in snow mode to drive in the snow. All four wheels are going to start out and I can show you some of that down here. So that's what we're gonna show you in this video. Let me just show you over here. There is our all wheel drive graph. Now let me throw my seatbelt on just so I don't uh, have any warning lights or beeps coming on here. All right, so you can see there, these bar graphs, they're grayed out right now, but they will fill in with blue as I start to go. Oops, let me just go back to, there we go, number one. So, uh, as we go, if we're in normal mode, which we are right now, you can see as I start to accelerate, all four wheels receive power equally. So again, this is not a system that has the front wheel slipping before it transfers power to the rear wheels and then it tries to find grip again. Even in the, it doesn't matter what mode you're in. So you don't have to put it in snow mode in order to have all four wheels have traction. So you can see here, all four wheels have traction. I'm hitting the brake. So what we are gonna do though, is we are gonna switch down here into the snow mode. I'm gonna put it in drive before we forget. And again, my, bone, my vehicle has a terrain mode. So in uh, Canada, it's different in the States, but we're gonna hit terrain mode and cycle down to snow. So we'll just try to show you in the dash here. Again, one take here. So again, we'll just go back. If we're in the drive modes, we have smart, normal, sport and uh, we're gonna switch to the train mode and come down to the snow mode. So the snow mode, what it does is it optimizes the vehicle and the all-wheel drive system and a number of other things. It optimizes the four-wheel traction, the vehicle stability control, the traction control and everything else. The big thing you're gonna notice in the snow mode is when I give it the gas, if I give it sort of a third throttle, it is just gonna very gradually pick up speed. So we'll try to show you the, both the bar graph there. Is that gonna flicker? That's gonna be annoying, isn't it? Oh, uh, what can we, can we show you that? I don't know, let's just show you the bar graph first then we'll come back and do it again. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll show you the bar graph. So again, if you see any um, traction control lights on here, you'll know we're slipping. So again, maybe one third throttle. Oh boy, is it lazy. And then it starts to come on and go. So here we are here. Now braking with the Viking Contact 7, I'm going, oh, 40-ish. ABS kicks in and I stop, no problem. Now I will say this section of the uh, parking lot is icy. So gonna spin it around now, you can see even in the ice and snow, Viking Contact 7s are pretty good. So you can see when we look out the side here where my wheels came, come on, there are patches of ice and you can almost see where the ABS kicked in and the vehicle hit some ice patches there. Viking Contact 7s though keep us nice and straight and that's the big thing with this ABS system. Now what we're gonna do is in the snow mode again, is we're gonna curl around into those tire tracks. So we're gonna accelerate and kind of S turn into those tire tracks. We're gonna try not to hit that vehicle coming out, but again, uh, Viking Contact 7 tires, along with the all-wheel drive system, 
So again, accelerating, very gradual throttle application in here, spinning it sharp out, right away grips and goes straight. Hitting the brakes again, I'm gonna floor the brakes, ABS kicks on and we're already stopped and that was probably 30 or 40 kilometers, I don't know exactly. So now let's spin it around again. When I turn the wheel sharp, you can see the wheels turning sharp right on that graph there as well. Um, you can see it goes primarily front wheel drive over rear. So it emphasizes the front wheel drive over the rear wheels uh, when we turn sharp. And what that means is you're not gonna fishtail, you're gonna plow. So it tr handles a little bit more predictably like a front wheel drive car. Now, instead of the tr uh, snow mode, we're gonna switch it over to the drive mode and we're gonna go sport mode. So now the sport mode, it's the exact opposite. It doesn't kill the throttle and we have to rely on tires. So now when I give it a third throttle, right away launch and there is some slip there. So we'll do the same thing again. Let's just do that all right here again. ABS kicking in. Now, traction control lights down here. One third throttle, about the same throttle application in sport mode. Right away, there's the traction, 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 and it goes. So just a whole different feel to the drive modes here. So I wanna explain what I just saw. All of the drive modes, all of the train modes, but let's just say drive modes alone, they will keep it in four wheel drive and you will always have initially it always starting in four-wheel drive. The snow mode works with traction control, vehicle stability, and it dulls the throttle to very gradually apply power, whereas the sport mode does the exact opposite. It kind of jumps off the line, but when you jump off the line, you're going to risk losing traction. So even with these Viking Contact 7s, which are excellent snow tires, uh, we easily lose traction with the same throttle application um, that we do in snow mode. So snow mode really kills the throttle and smoothens out the acceleration and you saw no traction control light. In sport mode with the same throttle application, it takes off quicker, no question. And that's great in dry pavement that it takes off really quickly, but it will uh, sort of accelerate differently. And that's again, equal throttle application makes the car feel completely different. We're gonna go to one more parking lot. We'll do a couple more tests and uh, then we'll come back and wrap up the video. All right, so we're in a different parking lot now. We've established that the snow mode is gonna give us the traction through acceleration. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those Viking Contact 7 tires to the test, along with stability control, traction control, all those things that if you give those computer systems a little bit of traction, like we do with these really good tires, you're gonna see some differences um, in how it handles. So we're leaving it in snow mode, and we're gonna kind of do some swerving back and forth in this parking lot. And what you're gonna notice is this car is designed not to have the rear end swing out, which kind of takes some fun away, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but again, in the snow mode, the idea is to maintain traction at all costs. So maintaining traction at all costs, we're having it in the snow mode, let's look forward out the windshield. And again, remember, when I swerve the wheel, even though it's starting in all four wheels with sort of equal power, it's gonna move more power forward as I'm uh, moving the wheel so that instead of moving more power rearwards, which swings the tail out, you're gonna have that power going forward to the front wheels, which just makes it a little bit more predictable. So let me show you what we're doing here. All right, looking out the window, uh, here we go. We're just gonna accelerate. We're gonna turn left here now. Easy acceleration here, sharp right. A Little bit of plow, right away in. A Little bit of plow, right away in, it grips again. So really nice S turning there. So you'll notice even under acceleration, what you find with this car and with this truck, I guess, is that you never swing the back end out. It just kind of plows a little bit. When I say plow, it's just sliding a little bit forward and then it grips up and goes, slides a little bit forward, it grips up and goes. And that sliding is from my aggressive maneuvering, but the all wheel drive system works. So one more time, we're just gonna do the same thing in snow mode. We're gonna turn hard right. No problem, hard left, no problem, no slip at all. Hard right again, little tiny bit of slip and it straightened itself out. And you can hear it making itself getting grip here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up for a second here and we're gonna throw it in sport mode and I'm gonna turn the traction control off. Traction control is over here. So we're gonna hold the traction control down. So tapping it just turns the traction control disabled. Now we're gonna turn it back on, which we just, I think did. Yeah, there we go. Now we're gonna hold it down and I think, there we go, traction and stability control disabled. And we're gonna mess with it some more by throwing it in the, oops, we don't want drain modes, we want drive modes, in the sport mode. So now we've got sport mode with traction and stability control taken off. So this is now all tires and not um, basically the car correcting itself. Right away, slip, I'm sliding sideways, straight sideways, oh, lost control, total loss of control, steering correction out. So, there we go. So I think that's a pretty cool test. 
Tires are super important, but it's the technology behind those tires that makes the car safe. This car completely spun out in sport mode with no traction, no stability control. What that means is we gave it some throttle. It was just spreading the power front to rear as it normally does with all wheel drive system, but it did not give me anywhere near the control. In fact, it was dangerous as we spun out. So again, we'll do the same thing in sport mode. We'll spin it around a little bit and you'll see. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin it around here. I'm not gonna hit anything over there. I'm not gonna hit them over there. But again, no traction, no stability control in this car right now. We're in drive. We're gonna start by turning a little bit left. I'm sliding already. A little bit right, I'm sliding already. And I've lost control. I had to jam on the, whoa, jam on the brakes again. It re-gripped. So again, reiterating, a complete lack of control. It's not just your tires that are keeping you safe. It's your tires working with this car's stability control, traction control, and power system. This car all of a sudden becomes a ton of fun if you wanna slide around an open parking lot uh, when you put it in sport mode and take off the stability and the traction control. But what makes a great winter vehicle? It's not just your winter tires, it's the technology that keeps you going where you wanna go. Santa Cruz has got that, a lot of Kia Hyundai product has that. So I hope that helps. Sorry for no outside uh, video. We've got to work alone today on this one. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and we'll do this again when the snow gets deeper and we'll do uh, some of the things that you maybe want us to try. Thanks everybody for watching.